आई वी एम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्माइल इंडिया आई एम योर होस्ट शिफा माइत्रा एंड होप यू डूइंग वेल इन दिस पॉडकास्ट आई शेयर न्यूज अबाउट पीपल एंड प्लेसेस डूइंग गुड फॉर द नेशन रिमाइंडिंग अस दैट ऑल हीरोज डू नॉट वेयर केप्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम मुंबई स्कूल्स हैव बीन शट फॉर अ रियली लॉन्ग टाइम एंड सिंस क्लासेस आर ऑनलाइन ऑब्वियसली नोबडी इज पेइंग बस फीस वन डे व्हाइल डूइंग सम असॉल्ट्स 10 ईयर ओल्ड शनाया भरूचा अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ बॉम्बे स्कॉटिश वन ऑफ द बेस्ट स्कूल्स इन द सिटी asked her mother what did her bus didis do now it struck a chord and the mother shared it on the parents whatsapp group everyone recalled that each school bus has an attendant who the kids call bus didi they ensured the children were safe made them smile if they were crying made sure they escorted them to the doorstep if it was raining heavily the parents and children decided to raise funds for these women word quickly spread among various grades and the children ensured the parents shared it with their family and friends too a task force was created and they decided to ensure an equal amount was given to each of the 180 attendants parents tried to raise money through corporates as well and then the students decided to help too diva mistri and sanaya lalani to class 7 students took art classes online to raise funds their classmate apurva nigam did a bakery sale online somebody conducted a dance class online other children sold cookies and cupcakes to family and friends All these students made sure the money owed to them went directly to the fundraiser. In less than a month over 62 lakhs has been collected and will go directly into the bank accounts of the bus sidis. Full marks to these little peeps who made sure nobody in their world goes hungry. Did you know that it took our border security force 51 years to get their first female combat officer? Let me tell you about the lady who got this post. Her name is Tanushree Parekh. Born and brought up in Bikaner, she came from a family with modest means and great values. She was great at judo in school and a an NCC cadet, but like most conventional families, she was asked to opt for engineering. She did that but continued to be a part of the NCC as well. She secured a good job after her degree, but at that point she realized that the lure of the uniform was too strong to ignore. She took the Central Armed Police Force exam, and when the time came to choose a branch, She opted for the BSF which had for the first time opened one post for women. Her family was supportive while people around her were surprised that she would opt for the toughest post. Tanushree felt like she had to do it not just for herself but for women who were always made to feel lesser. She was the only girl in a batch of 67 students and the training was tough mentally and physically. Every time she was overwhelmed Tanushree reminded herself why she was doing this. In 2017 she graduated from the BSF Academy at the Kanpur as an assistant commandant and has created history. Mo power to Parik is what I'd like to say. Another young person worth talking about is also an engineering student, Kevin Jacob. At 19, this young man with the help of 3D printing created a mask that comes fitted with a mic, speaker and amplifier. With this a frontline worker can speak in a normal tone while wearing a mask and shield and be clearly heard. Thrissur based Kevin felt a need for this as both his parents are doctors who've been working in covid hospitals. They used to come home with sore throats as they had to scream all day to be heard by patients through their mask and shield. The only other option was lowering their mask while speaking which was not safe and not acceptable. So at his home lab he tried various things. and came up with the solution after reading research papers and watching videos online he created two models that failed and finally came up with this where the mask can be charged with a usb cord for just 30 minutes and works all day the mic is in the n95 mask and the amplifier on the face shield his parents tried it and came home thanking him as their vocal cords felt no strain now other frontline workers not just in that hospital but in other cities of kerala too are wearing kevin's mask Who says all covid heroes are on the front line? And now for some tips from a senior citizen who's a retired clerk and has done something all of us talk about but never get down to doing. He and his family lead a plastic free life. Yes, you heard that right. When this eco warrior's wife goes grocery shopping, she carries her steel dabbas and paper bags along. If the shopkeeper has only things in plastic bags, she empties the content into her steel dabbas and gives the plastic bag back to him. Sankaran Musad recently retired but even 2 years ago he figured that letting go of plastic was the only way forward. He made sure the family replaced all plastic bags with cloth ones. Everyone carried lunch in steel boxes. 
In his office, he appealed to his seniors and ensured that water, tea and coffee were served in steel glasses. Post-retirement, he decided to help his family minimize the use of plastic. So once a month, he goes and buys cloth bags in wholesale and then everyone at home uses them. He takes his own steel containers to get milk, ghee, coffee and pulses. All the items are stored in steel containers. His wife is as committed and they've shifted to bamboo toothbrushes and are waiting for the time when they can even get shampoo in biodegradable packaging. I totally admire this family. And while I try to minimize the use of plastic in my house, the amount used in online parcels is something I still struggle with. Please tell me what you do to help the environment. I'll be waiting. That's it for today and I'll be back next week with more delightful news from India. Till then, stay home, stay safe and get vaccinated. For more interesting information on our country, please like and follow Good News Indians on Facebook. To hear more engaging podcasts, download the IVM app, go to the IVM website or look for us wherever you get podcasts from. To stay in touch with me, you could look up Shifa Maitra on Twitter and Instagram. Since you heard and liked Smile India in English, you could check out our Hindi version too and recommend it to people who prefer podcasts in Hindi. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'd like to thank the sponsors on the network this week. Thank you so much to Cred, Siet, and Global Victoria. Without you guys, this thing would not be possible. So, on the note, Maru Kinayat gives us an overview of the potential Twitter ban in India. On this round is on me, Gauri Devi Deyal was joined by actor-producer Purna Jagannathan to talk about her career in Bollywood, Hollywood, and theater. She talks about the upcoming season of the show, Never Have I Ever. On Cyrus Says, we had legendary musician Usha Uttup. She took us through her journey and shared her experiences as the unconventional musician. In the second installment of the Father's Day special on Akla Station Adulthood, Ayushi has a candid conversation with her father, Siddhartha Meen. On the Global Victoria Tech Talks podcast, we showcase some compelling new tech stories coming out of Melbourne. Whether it's from the buzzing gaming industry or the robust ed tech sector, Victoria is increasingly becoming a hub of emerging technology. And we talk to some thought leaders and industry legends about the same. Catch all the action from the World Test Championship on the Edges and Sledges podcast. For our Hindi listeners, we have Kail Niti, which goes live on YouTube every morning. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. 2020 is a difficult year. A global pandemic, protests, elections, recessions, you get the picture. What we need is a space where we can have nuanced discussions about global affairs and foreign policy. That's where I come in. My name is Hamsini Hariharan and I host the States of Anarchy podcast. Every second Tuesday, I speak to experts in the field of international relations to make a little more sense of the world. So join me on the IBM podcast app, website or wherever you're listening to me right now.